Hello everyone, myself Shivangi Desai. I am your instructor for the video series of Python for Data Science. Today's our topic is bar chart. So in this lecture we will discuss how we can plot a bar chart in Jupyter Notebook. So let's get started. Bar chart is a chart that represents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values that they represent. Now in Python, matplotlib library provides functions for creating horizontal as well as vertical bar chart. So we have two methods in Python that is bar and bar edge. The bar method will display the data in a vertical bar chart whereas the bar edge method is used for creating horizontal bar chart. So let's understand how we can use this bar chart in Python. Now to work with bar chart, we first need to import our matplotlib.pyplot library. Here I am giving an alias plt using splt. Now I am taking three different lists. That is for one for the company, second is for the revenue and third for the profit. So I can say the first list contains the name of different company. Second list contains the revenue details for each company and third list contains the profit of each individual company. Now, I want to show this data on a bar graph. For that, I am using plt.bar and in bracket, I am passing two different values. The first one is the company name and second is the revenue. Now, the first argument is displayed on the x-axis and second is displayed on the y-axis. So, when I run this code, you can notice that on the x-axis, we have a different company name. Whereas on the y-axis, we will have the values for the revenue. Now, when we want to attach some labels, say for example, I want to attach the label to the x-axis, to y-axis, and I also want to give the title to this bar chart, then I have to use the method x-label, y-label, and title. So, using plt.xlabel, I can give the label to our x-axis, which is tech giant companies, Using plt.wide label, I can display what are the data represented by the y-axis. So here I am passing revenue in billions and for title I am giving stocks of tech companies. So it will give the title to the entire bar graph. Also, I am using the legend method. The legend method is used to give the label to the data that what color data represent which particular details. So in plt.bar method, the first argument will be the company, which represents the different company name. Second argument is revenue, which represents the values for the revenue of each individual company. And third is the label parameter. In label parameter, I am passing revenue. This label will be used by this legion method. So let's run this code. So now you can see here. Here on the x-axis, I have a label tech giant companies. On y-axis, I have a label revenue in billions. And the entire bar graph has a title stocks of tech companies, which I have provided in this methods. Again, you can see this revenue label that is our legion. It represents what is the significance of this bars. And this label is attached here in plt.bar method. We have passed the values for label in plt.bar method from which this legion get the data. Now, if you want to add multiple data into our bar chart, which means I want to plot multiple data. First, I have plotted company and revenue. Now, I want to add company and profit. Then we can do that using multiple plt.bar methods. So here I am first using plt.bar in which I am passing company and revenue and giving the label revenue. And in the second plt.bar method I am passing company and profit and giving the label profit. So these labels are for the legion method. The legion method will get the data from these labels. So let's run this code. Now you can see we have two separate values in our single bar graph. One for the revenue, second for the profit. And this legion value is fetched from plt.bar in which we have assigned these labels. So in this bar graph we have this revenue and profit in a single figure. Now if you want to separate this profit from the revenue. Now for that we first need to import our numpy library import numpy as np 
and from this I am using np.arrange method. In np.arrange method I am passing the length of the company. So it will generate a list for the length of the company in an ascending order that is starting from 0 to 3 because we have 4 different companies. Right and I am storing this value inside this x pose. Now I am also giving the labels to our x axis, y axis and I am attaching a title to our biograph. So the x label is tech John companies, y label is revenue in billions and title is stocks of tech companies. Now inside the plt.bar first argument I need to pass is x pose minus 0.2 because I want the gap of 0.2 between the revenue and profit and passing the width is equal to 0.4 and giving the value for the label that is revenue. This label will be used by this legion method. Now in the second plt.bar I am passing x pose plus 0.2 and width is equal to 0.4. Now this one is for the profit and the first one is for the revenue. We have to pass the value of the revenue and profit as well. Now the width is equal to 0.4 and label is equal to profit. Again this label will be used by this legion method. So let's run this code. So now you can see that both the data is represented in separate bar. The blue bar is for the revenue and the orange bar is for the profit. And this detail is represented in this legion. Now if you want to display a horizontal bar for that we have a bar edge method. Again in this code I am taking the labels that is x label is tech giant companies, y labels is revenue in billions and title is stocks of tech companies. Now while using the plt.bar method I have to attach this edge in my method name. Now rather than using bar method I am using plt.bar edge method in which I am passing company and revenue and giving the label is equal to revenue. That this label is for the legion that I am going to use here that is plt.legion. So instead of bar I have used bar edge method. So now our result will display horizontal bars. So let's run this code. Now you can see my image display horizontal bars. So in today's lecture we discuss how we can use this bar and bar edge method to plot our data in a bar chart. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you.